that's what we got. So on the on the inward thrust, there's no problems. On the outward thrust, we've got this noise. Okay. The support bridge, part number one, uh, will travel at full torque until it hits the gearbox support plate, part number seven. At the end of this plate is a small plastic disc which uh, uh, holds the bearing in, and this is destroyed by the um, uh, support bridge hitting it. Um, the support bridge travels into this at full torque because there's no switching system to stop it at the end of its stroke. Uh, this allows the bearing to float and uh, the shaft number three and the shaft uh, uh, part number four will float uh, because there's nothing retaining it there. You can see here that it floats two to four millimeters. Uh, that creates your noise and it also allows the belt to go out of alignment and that's the problem we're dealing with in this case the floating of the bearing. The solution is the uh, small aluminum washer that you can see that we make up by hand. Uh, this will fit into a groove behind the bearing and hold the whole rod drive in position so there's no more slop. Uh, I'll show you the dimensions of this little washer now and then show you the location of where it fits into. You can see the groove in the threaded rod just behind the bearing. That's where the aluminum uh, retaining washer clips into. And uh, this is how it uh, clips in, uh, nice and snug, snug and tight. I'm using two millimeter by uh, 25 millimeter uh, aluminum uh, flat stock. You can see there's a couple of six millimeter holes drilled in it because I'm building two of these retaining or making two of these retaining clips at the same time. Uh, the first stage is to file it down so you've got the thickness uh, 1.5 to 1.8 millimeter so it uh, fits snugly in the slot. Uh, then uh, you uh, cut the pieces out. Cut the corners off so you've got an octagon, uh, file the corners round so you've got a, a disc and then cut the throat out. Uh, the throat cutting will be the next stage.
here you can see me uh, pushing the uh, uh, lead screw in and out. Uh, previously in the video when I did this, you could see there was a, a two to five millimeter float play uh, on the end of the shaft. Now there's zero play at all. So we fixed that problem. Uh, the other problem is that the uh, support bridge is still going to hit this uh, uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum, aluminum uh, retaining uh, clip uh, if you don't have a limiting switch. In a previous video, I showed how I made up a limiting switch. Uh, so once this problem is fixed, it will never occur again. So I'll give you a link here and show you what a limiting switch looks like and uh, um, how it was made up. Uh, okay. You can see here, no movement at all. We've fixed the problem. A friend contacted me and asking me about using a stainless steel washer uh, instead of uh, making something up out of uh, uh, aluminum. Uh, the problem here is getting the right size. You can see the uh, aluminum retaining uh, clip in the middle. On the left hand side is a six millimeter washer. Uh, the outer diameter is not big enough and also it's only uh, 1.2 millimeter thick. On the right side, you can see the outer diameter is um, okay, but that's an 8 millimeter hole in the middle and it's still uh, only 1.5 millimeter thick. So uh, if you can find a stainless steel washer to do the job, you can do it that way, but I couldn't do it. So that's why I made one up uh, from scratch with aluminium.